Hello guys and welcome to Concentrix MCAT Masterclass. The MCAT test is more than just an assessment as it is designed to evaluate your fluency, pronunciation, active listening, vocabulary and grammar. In this video, I'll provide you with all the necessary information in my top tips to help you prepare well for the voice MCAT test and achieve higher scores in less time. Trust me, if you follow my instructions, clearing the test will become super easy. Let's get started. This test has seven sections. Part A, short questions. Part B, conversation. Part C, read and speak. Part D, listen and repeat. Part E, fill in the blanks. Part F, complete the sentence. And Part G, free speech. I'll brief you everything about what you're supposed to do in each section, number of questions you will encounter in that section, and the allotted time to answer each question. I'll also highlight key points to focus during the test, and then I'll share some specific tips to each section to help you score better. Let's move on to our first section, part A, short questions. In this section, you will hear a short story. Once the story is over, you will be asked three short questions based on the spoken story. You need to provide your answers in sentence form and not just with one word. You will have 15 seconds to answer each question. If you remain silent or do not provide an answer, the machine will automatically move on to the next question and you will receive a negative marking for not attempting the question. Let me share a sample story and the sample questions that you may be asked in this section. So the story says, your name is Ray. You are 36 years old. You have never been fond of reading books and instead prefer to paint. You are excited because you are going to visit a new art gallery today. That's it. This is where the story ends. Only two liner story. It's pretty simple and short. Now let's look at the questions they may ask about the passage. Question number one. What is your age? The answer is 36 years. But as I said earlier, in this section, we need to answer the questions in a sentence form, not with one word. So our answer will be, I am 36 years old. Question number two, do you like reading books? The answer is no, I don't like reading books. Question number three, how are you feeling today? The answer is excited, but since we do not have to give one word answer, we must say, I am feeling excited today. Guys, it's very easy to score in this section because the story is going to be in simple language and the questions will be based on the story itself. You just need to focus on key information provided in the story, like the person's age, his hobbies, the place he will be visiting, and so on. I'm sure you'll be able to handle this section without any issues. Let's move on to our next section, part B, conversation. In this section, you will hear a description of a situation, followed by a description of a conversation. You need to listen to the dialogue and provide an appropriate answer. You will be asked five short questions based on the dialogue. You will have 12 seconds to answer each question. Let's look at the situation. You're going to Paris for a week's vacation with your best friend. This is your first trip to Paris. You plan to visit Eiffel Tower. That's it. The story is short and simple. Let's look at a few points from the story that we picked up. First, this is your first trip to Paris. Second, you're going for a one-week vacation. Third, you're going with your best friend. And lastly, you plan to visit Eiffel Tower. On the flight, a fellow passenger starts a conversation with you and you must provide an appropriate answer. The fellow passenger says, Hi, is this your first visit to Paris? And your response should be, Yes, this is my first visit to Paris. Again, you do not have to give one word answer. Passenger 1, Well, it's a wonderful place. Are you traveling with someone? Your response, Yes, I'm traveling with my best friend. Passenger 1, How long are you staying? Your response, I'll be staying in Paris for a week. Passenger 1, what do you plan to do in Paris? Your response, I'll be visiting Eiffel Tower. Passenger 1, that's nice. I hope you will have a nice time there. Your response, thank you so much. Again, the key to clearing this section is to remember the key details provided in short story and answer the question fluently. Let's move on to our next section, part C, read and speak. As the name suggests, you need to read and speak these sentences exactly as they are displayed on your computer screen. You will receive a total of 12 sentences, one after the other. And you will have 15 seconds to record your response. Example, the machine will say, please read sentence 1. And you will then read sentence 1 which is displayed on the screen. Remember, there are only two things that will be evaluated in this section. Your fluency and pronunciation. Therefore, your entire focus should be on speaking the sentences fluently without hesitation or using fillers. 
For example, if the machine says, please read sentence number three. And if the sentence says, he cooks hamburgers and leaves his dirty dishes in the sink all night, then you must read it loud and clear without fumbling. The moment you fumble or use fillers, you will get negative marks. Let me explain you how points are deducted in this section. He cooks uh, hamburgers and uh, leaves his dirty uh, dishes in sink all night. The moment you will start doing uh, um, uh, and uh, these are fillers. The moment bot will observe that you're using fillers, it will take it as you have some reading issues and you will be marked down. You must read sentences loud and clear and in a flow. You should read it like this. He cooks hamburgers and leaves his dirty dishes in the sink all night. Remember, fluency and pronunciation are the key to success in this section. Let me give you a tip that will help you score maximum in this section. If the sentence says, he cooks hamburgers and you say he cooks burgers, then do not try to correct that because bot is only checking your fluency. Just go with the flow and complete the sentence. There is no need to stop to correct the sentence. Jo bol diya, wo bol diya. Keep going. Read rest of the sentence without using fillers. Maintain fluency and be loud and clear. Let me share a few sample sentences that you can use for practice. You can either pause the video or take a screenshot to practice these sentences. Let's move on to our next section, section D. Listen and repeat. In this section, you will hear an automated voice that will speak a sentence to you. And you must repeat it exactly as you hear it. This round is all about listening and repeating the sentences. Each sentence will be played only once. For example, the machine will say, leave town on the next train. And you must respond by repeating, leave town on the next train. Be loud and fluent. You will encounter a total of 9 sentences and for each sentence you will have 12 seconds to repeat it. However, if you remain silent or fail to speak at all, the machine will proceed to the next sentence automatically and you will get a negative marking for not attempting the sentence. The only difference is that in the previous section you had sentences written on the computer screen whereas in this section you need to listen to the sentences and then repeat them. Guys, it may sound easy. But it's actually not because the first two or three sentences will be very easy which you can easily understand and repeat without any problems. However, as you move on, the sentences will become longer and more challenging which you might have issues memorizing or understanding especially with American or British accent. I'll be very honest with you guys. For hot sari candidates ke saath issue hota hai that they are not able to comprehend or understand the sentences at all due to the foreign accent. Bas ek cheez yaad rakhna, kisi bhi sentence ko skip nahi karna or not attended nahi chhodna. You must say something to avoid negative marking. For example, if the machine says, the driving instructor did not think Peter was ready to take the exam. And let's assume you missed half of the sentence or you did not understand anything at all due to the foreign accent. Or yaha pe aapko sirf driver or Peter hi yaad raha, Baki sentence you could not understand at all. So what you can do is, you can create your own sentence in your own language using the words that you remember from that sentence. You can say, my driver Peter could not take me to the market because it has been raining since morning. Sentence ka jo bhi part yaad hai, ya jo bhi samaj mein aaya, usko leke ek sentence construct kar do, which is grammatically correct. Remember, in this section, the machine will check your fluency pronunciation and active listening. Even if you do not understand the entire sentence, whatever you remember out of that sentence, create a sentence of your own choice, which is grammatically correct, and read it back to the machine. My suggestion would be to stay realistic as much as you can. Listen carefully to the sentences. Say exactly what you hear. Use this helpful tip only when you encounter difficulty. You can use the same method in the above sections as well. To help you feel more comfortable with this section, here are a few sample sentences. You can take a screenshot or pause the video to read them and prepare better. Let's move on to our next section, section E. Fill in the blanks. You will hear a sentence that is missing one word. Fill in the missing word and then repeat the complete sentence back to the machine. You will receive a total of 8 sentences one after the other and you will have 12 seconds to record your responses. 
let me share a sample fill in the blank with you. Can we make a dash at this restaurant? The answer is reservation. But as I said earlier, you do not just have to fill in the missing word. You must also repeat the entire sentence with the missing word itself. So the answer will be, can we make a reservation at this restaurant? Your response should be loud and clear and you must speak fluent. Guys, right? this is a pretty simple and easy section and you won't face many issues at all. In case, if you face any problems understanding the foreign accent, I hope by now you have understood what you can do. You can create an answer on your own, but do not leave the section unanswered to avoid negative numbers. Let me share some sample fill in the blank questions to help you score better in this section. You can either pause this video or take a screenshot and I'm sure this will help you in understanding this section better. Now let's move on to our next section. Section F. Complete the sentence. You will have a sentence that contains an error. Correct the error and repeat the entire sentence back to the machine. You will encounter a total of three incorrect sentences and for each sentence you will have 12 seconds to respond. Example, the incorrect sentence is, did he wrote the test yesterday? Now from this sentence, you first need to identify the mistake, then correct it and finally repeat the complete sentence back to the machine including the correction. The correct sentence would be, did he write the test yesterday? So basically the correction was, we had to use write instead of wrote because after did, the sentence always uses the first form of the word. Example number two. The incorrect sentence is, I will be back at about 20 minutes. And the correct sentence is, I will be back in about 20 minutes. Basically, we must use in instead of at when referring to a specific amount of time. So the question was, I will be back at about 20 minutes. The correct sentence was, I will be back in 20 minutes. It's as simple as that. And there are only three incorrect sentences that you must correct. Just in case you're unable to identify an error. And since we cannot leave the sentence unanswered, you can follow the same approach. The best practice would be to read the same sentence back to the machine. Guys, I'm repeating it over and over again. Try to be realistic as much as you can. Use these tricks only in case if you get stuck. If you keep doing this with every other question, I guess you can predict your own scores. Let me share some sample incorrect sentences with correct answers to help you practice and perform better in this section. You can either pause this video or take a screenshot and then we'll move on to our next section. Part G, free speech. And this is the final section of this test. This is basically a free speech round. You will receive a topic from the machine and you need to speak on that topic for at least 40 seconds. The question will be spoken once and you will have 30 seconds to think before answering. Let me share a sample topic. Should parents choose the course of study for the children or should children choose their own course of study? Guys, I've used the same example in my voice version briefing video as well. If you want to learn how to pass the voice version test, then you can either click on I button or watch the video that will appear at the end of this one. Anyways, as I said earlier, the test will be checked by the bot and not by a human. This means you're free to express yourself or say anything you want as long as you maintain proper grammar, speak fluently and have clear pronunciation. First thing first, you can repeat the entire question so that you can use some seconds in it and then keep adding whatever comes to your mind. You can talk about your most memorable day, how you celebrated your last birthday, the person you admire the most, what makes your hometown so special, or anything else that you can comfortably talk about. And most importantly, as I've been saying it over and over again, do not use fillers because fillers are killers. So no um and ah uh while giving the answer. Otherwise, you'd be marked down for using fillers or broken speech. Let me share a sample of how to speak on any topic in this section. The decision of whether parents should choose their children's course of study or if children should make their own choice is an important topic. Both sides have varied points to consider. On the one hand, parents may want to select the course of study for their children to ensure it leads to success. The most memorable day of my life was when I went on a family vacation to the beach. It was a sunny day with a gentle breeze that made the air feel refreshing. We reached the beach early in the morning and I could hear the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. 
the sight of the war machine filled me with excitement. On that day, my father mentioned that he would like to decide the course of study for me, as he has more experience and knowledge about different careers and opportunities. Fortunately, it was my birthday. I told my parents that I would agree to let them choose the course of study for me only if they bought me a guitar. I've always believed that playing the guitar 15 minutes before starting to study helps me memorize better. My father also shared that this is how his father helped him in choosing his own course of study. Guys, it can't be easier than this. Whatever comes to your mind, you can say that. By the way, I could have easily spoken on this topic for more than 40 seconds without deviating from the main idea. But I did all these changes or modifications to show how simple it is to speak on topics in an MCAT test. Just a quick suggestion: you can prepare a topic or two before taking the test so that you do not run short on words while giving the MCAT test. Feel free to take a screenshot or pause this video to read them. Guys, did you know that MCAT test is the first and the easiest round in the concentric entry process? After this, you will need to appear for HR round, version test, and operations round. I'm sure you will need my help to clear those doubts as well. By the way, I've already created videos on all those crucial topics, so make sure you like this video and most importantly, subscribe to Hiring Guru Official to get everything you need in one place. Share this video with anyone you think may need help clearing concentric entry. Now just click on one of the videos appearing on the screen to learn what's next in the entry process, and I'll see you there for further briefing. Bye now.